So this is a little response to Blunder Bob and the uh this is a good suggestion. I liked it, but in your comment you said not really the same. <clears throat> Action constraint only works on one channel at a time. I wouldn't like to set up my constraints to do this. The driven key can drive many objects and anything uh, is configurable. And uh, some of this uh, is true with Blender. Like for a lot of stuff, you'd have to use an armature and you'd have to like have a bone that drives something like your particle emissions, your shaders, um, that kind of stuff it would require additional setup. But for just translating an object around in your scene, uh, it's doesn't require anything beyond one uh, action constraint. So I have a cube here. I'm just going to give it a little animation. And we'll uh, scale it and rotate it and just kind of move it around in a wacky kind of way. So this is the animation, and uh, I want to get some more. I don't want that. Let's get a uh, dope sheet action editor. So this is our action, cube action. And I'm going to go back to frame zero. I'm going to add an empty. I'm going to move it down. Turn and keep framing off. I don't, I don't want this to be animated yet. But, uh, so you just you select your cube and you give it a uh, action. Select cube action. Then you set your start frame, uh, end frame. And, you know, what how you want your target object, which is the empty, to... Uh, like what channel, transform channel, you want it to affect the cube or this this constraint, basically. So if I want this to move on the x-axis, we'll do one. As we move this, now we're seeing the uh, animation on our cube being played back, and we can kind of play with this. So let's do 10. We can go all the way over here and... You know, this, you know, it's a little bit clunkier, I'd say, than uh, the the way you can do it in, in Maya, but it's all, you know, possible. And um, honestly, uh, I don't, like, you wouldn't really want to animate an object like this directly so much in Blender, in my opinion. You know, I uh, I do, like freelance animation stuff for a living and I don't like to in my workflow I don't like to directly animate an object like this because just the way the animation data is handled um you know you only have one object transform on an action at a time so uh, if this were me and I and if I wanted to like animate additional things like the uh, yeah, material properties or that kind of thing. I would make an armature, and uh, that really isn't too hard to do. I'm just going to parent this cube to this bone. So now we have a bone, and we're just we'll animate this in a similar way to how we uh, did the. Uh, cube just now. Uh, I'm going to make sure I got rid of that action. And we'll go into the uh, material of this cube. Let's bring up the shader editor. And let's... Uh... Actually, can you individually change the uh oh, here we go 
I don't actually use uh, drivers that often in the shader editor. And like I said, you know, this uh, isn't to me a super great way to do something like this. Like I wish it was easier, but you can just um, do this, like do var, all this for your driver. We just make this the Y uh, scale and just use local space. And we should be able to see the color of our cube change that way. So if we wanted to say, have the cube turn a different color oops, over uh, 60 frames. So this is what the animation looks like. It turns, you know, cyan then all we'd have to do is we can make another bone actually and this will be our um, thing that drives our action constraint so let's get rid of that we'll select our armature action and we'll do 60 and uh, let's say we want this to you know once again the x-axis is going to be the thing that you know drives that same kind of deal so as we move our cube we're getting that and all we have to do is just copy this constraint over to um the other bone and this works on you know any bone that has animation within this con uh this uh action so as we move our cube along, now we're getting the color change as well as the transformation on uh, the cube. So, you know, like I said, it, it's, it is more set up. You know, I don't think anyone can argue that there's a lot more steps involved with this, but it's all possible in a pretty similar way uh, in Blender. So... Uh, hopefully this might be helpful.